Hello, my name is Melissa Alatorre. I just graduated from the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley with a bachelor's in graphic design. Uh, so Professor Ping invited me to come and do this program after hearing me do a presentation on my portfolio for graduation and I told him about some of my experiences and where I've worked before and I used to work at Disneyland so I have that experience of working with kids, families, and all kinds of situations from all sorts of backgrounds and you know working there really makes you realize how small the world is and how many different people there are everywhere and uh, being offered to go to another country and teach, you know, share your culture and then learn from theirs and pick up from each other to kind of improve, uh, improve ourselves as a society uh, really uh, stuck to me. So I couldn't say no and I was really excited to learn more about another country that I honestly didn't know much about before. Um, all of the kids in every single school have been absolutely amazing. They are super eager to learn. They're super excited. Uh, usually they're very shy at first, but you know, once you find a way to communicate with the students properly, they open up to you and they start being more interested in you and your culture and where you're coming from. And in that struggle of wanting to understand you more, that is where they themselves try to communicate and that's where they push their limits and they try to really ask you questions and really try to get to know you so if they say something and you don't really understand you you repeat oh can you say that again and they'll repeat it and in repeating themselves it just helps them learn and it it's really different when you're learning from a textbook versus when you're you know talking to somebody um, so students have been wonderful and not just in class, but just passing the hallway, you know, they want to talk to you and they approach you. So being in class with them and that just kind of breaks the boundary and that's where they want to get to know you more. And I think that's where um, it really helps, you know, when they want to talk to you as a person. So right now I am again in my uh, third um, area. So I'm with my third host family. All of them have been absolutely amazing. I honestly don't even know how to thank them enough. They have been wonderful from sharing their culture, their food, their experiences with us and bringing us into their family and opening their homes for us. That is just really special. And, um, you know, from taking us to the night market to taking us to the different temples and uh, our first host family really went in depth when we were going through a temple and we learned a lot about where you should walk in from, you know, the different gods and how you show respect and uh, how people, you know, pray to them and, you know, the burning of the money and everything. So you really um, get to learn more about their culture through talking to your host family and having that interaction with them is super important and having them teach you so much in such a short amount of time is amazing and I really, really appreciate that. And just, they never let you be hungry. <laughs> They're always giving you food and that's how they show that they care. At least that's what they told me. <laughs> so thank you from the bottom of my heart to every single host family that I've been with. It's been a really special experience so far. Um, something that has really impressed me is some of the cultural differences that we have in our education system, um, the U.S. versus here in Taiwan, you know, I really love how the kids are taught to, you know, clean up after themselves, to take care of the school and to take care of, you know, the area where they study and really just respect it, you know, respect. I see that a lot. Even the kids that are the most hyper and they're really like noisy and playful, even they know when to, you know, calm down and listen to their teacher and show that respect and I think that is beautiful and I feel like sometimes um, we don't see that a lot to the extent that I've seen it here and that is something that I would really like to take back home and implement it um, in my family, starting off in my family and then just kind of start sharing that 
Um, it's just really the culture, I think, here that is really beautiful.